How's it going? Prepare to loot, yep, pretty much. And get absolutely nowhere. <laughs> I am getting really sick of playing this. I just want to play Deimos. Oh yeah. Oh wait, what's today? Okay, yeah. Also, it's wild. I'm uh uh, uh I'm gonna get the Seo device hopefully tomorrow. Uh yeah. So. Which Deimos am I going for after this? The only good one. <laughs> you never catch me dead beating the end level Deimos. Yeah, I'll finally be able to do high CPS, high uranium. The only good one by- bro. <laughs> the end level Deimos is bad, I'm sorry. It's terrible. It's just a really lazy Phobos remake. Yeah. It has charm to it? No, Phobos has charm to it. Dame and level Damos does not have charm to it. They sell little thingies of juice in my school and one time I got two so I could give one to my friend and the guy behind me in line called me a fucking idiot. Wow. What a uh That's crazy. Also, I'm gonna be focusing today. I'm gonna try to at least. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the only people, yeah, the only reason people even know fucking exists is because has to verify it. And that is, honestly, that is the same with Kinos. I can guarantee you, like, Kinos would just be, like, I mean, like, Kinos on its own is not good. It's just the lore surrounding it. It's just the, the extensive Nepesta lore. It's the only reason. Arcana Sense bad, yeah. They literally took Artificial and just made it, like, well, I don't know, it's not, it just doesn't feel like an Artificial remake, really, like, they changed it too much. Doesn't work. Hydre, how's it going? Kinos is just scooping hell with an extension, so it's automatically bad, but only remember- Yeah, yeah, that's literally real. That's so fucking real. Oh my god. Okay. A condo, get a load of this fucking idiot.
Dude, what the fuck? So cringe. Do you want to know how to keep an idiot in suspense? <laughs> what? Damn. You're just gonna not... Okay. Die. Please. Also, yeah, who's there? Who the fuck is there? This level isn't even really bugged, it's just terribly balanced. I already know what you're gonna do. I, I'm just gonna be, I'm, you're gonna say knock knock, I'm gonna say who's there, then you're gonna say knock knock, and I'm gonna say who's there, and then you're like, hi, ah, you're the idiot because I kept you in suspense. Probably what you're gonna do or something, I don't know. Ooh, too hard to figure out. Damn, yep, got you. Dude, whenever someone's trying to do a joke like that to me, I automatically shut that shit down. I remember this one time my grandpa was like, uh, uh, he, he just like walked in and like me and my two cousins were there and we were just like hanging out and then he was like, uh, what are, if you're American before you go in the bathroom, what are you after you? And then I was like, European. Immediately shut that shit down. I don't, I do not tolerate it. Zero tolerance. On chat, do something, <laughs> please. I think I'm just like sitting here, just like poking my chat with a stick, just waiting for something to happen. It's your fault. I'm not entertaining. I need stuff to talk about. So unfortunate, that America and Ireland are the only land masses. I wish there were. Yeah, I know, right? It's kind of crazy. Actually, you know, I need to actually try to uh, concentrate on this. So much rain in Ireland recently. Some of the towns here are fucking submerged in water. Wow. It rains fun. Like, I literally never get any better at this pre-drop, it's so fucking bad. 
I bet you I'm still only gonna- I bet- I bet you I'll get like three drop attempts today, max. Even if I just play from here the entire time. Sequel to Christopher Columbus's Harriet Tubman. We've already discussed this. Sucks to drench and sweat and it's 25 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> See, so yeah, I have the opposite problem. It it can it could be literally like 60 degrees Fahrenheit out, and my hand my hands will literally be just like cryogenically cold. And then I can't play or do anything. Took a sniff of your socks today and you almost passed out. <laughs> okay. I was walking home earlier and an old lady asked me for directions to the doctors and I was like an hour late for dinner. Oh. Wait, why? Okay. I, I don't even. <laughs> Did it just take you that long to explain it? the old lady, I mean, that's what I would do. I just uh, offered to help her cross, like, the busiest fucking road in the area, and then when we're in the middle of the intersection, I just fucking bolt. I'm gonna just try to do 18 to 100 times 2, or 9 to 100, I don't even care. Like, this pre-drop is so fucking impossible. Literally, like, 100% of the difficulty is crammed into the first 48%. It's absurd. One time I left my baby in the microwave, so I had to run home and the this homeless oh this homeless man why'd you say homeless man? This homeless man kept following me. I think he wanted money for okay. I have also never been outside of America, unfortunately. You 
never been in America, keep it that way. He requires fuck. Honestly, I've never been in the observable universe. Dude. Actually, yeah, I, I'm curious about that. Is, does it take like six out? Like, how long does it take take to drive like across Ireland, like like end to end? Like, not even driving around the coast, just literally just driving across it. Yeah, don't. Honestly, I could go with less content for the Luchiverse stream right now anyway, or for the Luchiverse video because uh, I already have a bunch of footage to go through, and if I'm being honest, I uh, am poss I might need to like find someone to help edit videos again. Maybe. I don't know. Which is fine. I don't care. But either that or videos will just come out way slower. Which is honestly probably the more likely option right now, but I don't really care. It's not about finding clips, I write the times down, it's about actually editing the video. Like, I can clip... Like, with the, the system that I have in place, I can literally go through like 12 live streams in a single day. So clipping stuff isn't a problem. It's just I mean, I wouldn't expect that of you, man. It's fine. I don't know. I need to figure something out. I mean, like, if I didn't go, if for whatever reason I end up, like, quitting college, then, like, I guess I would have time to edit my stuff on my own, so I wouldn't care. I mean, because all I'd have to worry about is, like, a job, and that's really it. Instead of, like, you know... 
Cause school fucking sucks, I hate it so much. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even, <laughs> bruh. I shouldn't let college of the top 20 and drop. Yeah. Uh, it's so painful though, bro. So painful. Really, my main problem is just finding a source of income while also being able to do YouTube and college, because I don't think all three of those things can work out simultaneously. It's like the main issue I'm finding here, or I'm having here. Because I know YouTube is not going to pan out. At least not if I keep just doing GD. <laughs> that shouldn't happen. Which is fine, I don't expect it to, but... Like, the only reason I even care, care about money in the slightest is just because it would let me keep doing this without having to, like, worry about other shit. Oh, uh, solar flare higher than Oblivion now. It's crazy. Oblivion's pretty much where Zodiac was where I beat it right now. It's kind of fucked up. I pretty much traded... I, I pretty much just traded beating a level for, like, for it to be in the exact same place as my old heart is. Despite it literally being, like, at least, like, twice as difficult as Zodiac. That's funny. Why the fuck would I try VSC? Why would I do that? I don't want to do that. That's horrible. <laughs> uh, have you tried, um... Oh, hey, Gene. Uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> also, how's it going? I read your message. Uh, I will, uh, I'll talk to you later. That's fine. I completely get it. I'm just, uh, trying to suffer right now, so. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, just for fun, that does contradict the entire point of playing VSC, actually. For real. Oh, it's really- so, like, the levels, like, 38 to 100 is fine. Everything before that is so bad. Like, this pre-drop is unironically, like... It's, like, top 80 difficulty, which is really funny. And then the rest of the level is, like, easy extreme difficulty. <laughs> yeah, no, this is definitely probably one of the best options that could have, uh, that you could have given me. Don't worry, team. I'm beating Deimos after this. <laughs> you're you're a, you're actually probably about to just be like crying after hearing that. One. This level's like it recently fell off the list. for new 
notice. Yeah, I know. It's because I realized that, like, I, I don't fucking know. Like, it sounds fun to beat other stuff until you're actually beating, I don't know. Like, I wanna... I think I just... I don't know. I think I just enjoy the game the most when I'm just doing something and challenge myself. Otherwise, it's just kind of boring. Like, this is really fucking boring. Oh my god, the only good one, bro. Do you think that I would actually beat the end-level Deimos, bro? Or wait, unless you're... Hold on. Oh, wait, never mind. You're just being a dick. Sorry. Unless you were being serious. In which case, uh, are you blind? It is funny, someone in the comment section of the Zetabyte completion literally was like, Oh, which Deimos, even though I quite literally had, like, the level that I- Like, I was literally showcasing the Deimos I, I was gonna beat in the background of the video, like, bro. Like, I did that on purpose to make it as obvious as possible. <laughs> Yeah, go 35 on God. Okay, you were just being a dick. Okay. Also, uh, all right. I mean, auditory isn't bad. I don't care for it really, but I mean, it's fine, I guess. Wow, guys, I almost just beat the level. Isn't that crazy? No, no, no. I, I saw. I saw. I told you I saw. It's fine if you didn't hear me, but yeah, no. I, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. It's fine, though. Don't worry about it. Uh... Never actually realized how bad the pre-drops level actually... Yeah, it's pretty fucking horrible, man. I'm filled with despair right now. I actually kind of want to take a Deimos break real quick. On God. like five minutes. I don't know if I can play this part still. Getting 51 on Luchi versus is literally the same as just dying to the last click. 
literally the same. I'll get back to Luchiverse in like five minutes. I just want to like, I don't know. I need a break. I will say it's nice to play a level that doesn't have double clicks in it, so I don't have to constantly hover my hand or my other hand over the space bar. It's awesome. Oh, yo, let's go. $10. Thanks, man. Hey, can you always just play Deimos? Uh, you can always play Deimos for now and go back to Luchiverse later. Personally, I don't give a fuck if you beat Luchiverse or not. Oh, okay. Well, you see, I do give a fuck if I beat Luchiverse um, because that's just the person I am, so I'm going to beat it. Don't I'm, I'm beating it first. demon in like the past year is an impossible pre-drop i swear yeah honestly i think it's just every de every like extreme demon kind of just has an impossible pre-drop i'm not gonna lie well most of them do anyway like i would say if you're beating an extreme demon there's like an 85 percent chance that the pre-drop is the hardest part that's just how it is like the only level i can think of like that like the only level i can think of off the top of my head that didn't have an impossible pre-drop was uh carcano like that I've completed. Actually, I kind of want to go through... Hold on. Hold on. Here, I'm going to go through my complete extremes and we're going to see. Because I'll, I'll remember. I'll remember which ones. Uh, we're going to take... Here, I'm going to open up Desmos and we're going to take a quick little... At, uh, or we're going to take a little percentage here. So hold on. We have... Alright, so we have 32. So it's going to be something out of 32. Yeah. No, down. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see what percentage of the levels I've completed are uh, pre-drop heavy. So, uh, bloodbath. No, actually, Kata. It's literally right at the start, though, dude. Okay, all right. Here, when I say pre-drop, I think I'm talking like the first 20% of the level. Okay, let's just clear this up because yes, like this very. Or actually, no, no. Wait, the wave is yeah. Okay, so Kata, yes, Kata's one. Never mind. Okay, Yada is one. Bloodlust is one. Hold on, wait. One, two, three. Okay. Four. I don't know, Zodiac, I don't know, Does should Zodiac count? Hmm, Zodiac's kind of in between, because it is a pain in the ass. Okay, yeah, Zodiac counts, okay, wait, so wait, so we have Zodiac, Blade. so wait, one, two... Uh, three, four, five. Okay, five on the first page. Uh, six. No. 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 Seven. No. 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 Okay, wait, I may have been lying then. I'm about to, yeah, okay, I'm definitely wrong. No, 
Yeah, no, not really. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, because the pre-drops. Actually, yeah, yeah, that one's a yes. That's eight. Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. All right. So cybernetic was eight. All right. Uh, Night Rider is very pre-drop heavy. So that's a uh, that's a nine. Uh. You know, I'm gonna say ten on this because the pre-drop is still such a pain in the dick. Uh. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's only 10 out of 32 levels, I guess, that have a really painful pre-drop. Damn. I don't think Misty Mountains is that... Hold on. Here, let's see. I don't think Misty Mountains pre-drop is that bad. I found the hardest part of this level to be, like, uh... Hold on. Let me see. Uh, well, you might be right, because some of these timings are kind of... Yes. Yeah, like this orb sucks. Okay, yeah, actually, probably 11. Yeah, yeah, definitely 11 or mine. Alright, I'll play the verse, I guess. I mean, I'm just beating it because I can't drop stuff. I, like, like my brain won't let me forget about it unless I finish it. It's just how it is. Like, it will always be at the back of my mind bugging me that I didn't beat this if I don't do it, so... Okay, that is... that bug sucks. Ooh, honestly, that's a... that's an interesting... Dude, the backyard scientist needs to try that. Giant blender. That would go crazy. That's probably already been done, though.
I mean, I would totally make a giant blunder, that'd be sick. I mean, obviously I wouldn't use it for nefarious reasons, but... Like, that'd be just... insane. I don't know what I'd put in it, though. Because, <laughs> like... I'd feel bad if I wasted a shit, shit ton of food just trying to make, like, a massive, like, smoothie that no one could ever drink. Put whole cows in it, yeah. Wow, make ground beef. I don't think it'd really grind it as much as it would, like, you know, puree it, but... I don't know. Giant blenders sounds like a good idea until you realize that you would have to put stuff in it, and, like, I can't think of anything that would be a good thing to put in it. You could use it to, like, blend up lawn clippings. Like, you just, like, mow your... If you mow the lawn, you could probably make, like, a grass smoothie and just dump it everywhere. <laughs> I don't... I don't fucking know. A whole pig carcass, yeah. I guess some roadkill. I guess... No, I would never do that because, uh... That would... 100% violate YouTube. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up anyway. I saw some roadkill the other day that was just wild. It literally looked like, uh... Like, the carnage was just insane. It's like... I don't even know how to describe it. Like, h half of the, d like, insides of the animal is just, like, out. Yeah, my heart says base after base. You know, I don't know if this is fucked up for me to say, um, but you know what, it's morbid curiosity, I don't care. I, uh, like, this deer got hit by, like, a car, like, on the, like, avenue that I live on, and, like, like, it was just, like, it, like, laying there, just, like, absolutely suffering, and, like, they had to euthanize it, and there was just, like, a, like, people just congregating around it. Um, and, like, I think, th like, there was, like, a police officer he who, like, ended up shooting it, but, like, like, I, I wanted, I, like, wanted to see for some reason, but I couldn't because we were stuck at McDonald's because they completely fucked up the strawberry milkshakes that we <laughs> ordered. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't get to see the... It was just wild. So, yeah, there's that. Also, I don't know how the fuck the deer even got there. Like, we live in the middle of, like, a goddamn, like, city. Like, it, it doesn't even make sense. Yeah, no deer death for me on God. I mean, I guess it's probably a good thing I didn't see it, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I guess I wouldn't have cared. I mean, I could never, like, actually kill something myself, but, like, I was just, like, so morbidly curious. Like, I was like, dude, I gotta see that, but no. The deers of the strawberry milkshakes were fucked up, possibly, I don't know. No, the strawberry milkshakes were fucked up because it was McDonald's.
Wait, what? There's a sex section of my hair on the top of my head that's so. Oh wait, so ta tanked. I don't even what. So or so tangled. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Uh, it didn't even come out with conditioner. Yeah, that's part. That's like one of the many reasons that I decided to just like get my hair cut. Didn't deal with it. I'm not bidding this today, am I? I'm doing 18 to 100 again, I don't care. Clearly not fucking consistent enough. This is like, the reason I'm doing Deimos, because uh... Yeah, I won't be concerned with trying to beat it fast. This shit is frustrating me so bad. Hello, the five 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 five.
Let's go. The hair is fixed. Actually, so demotivating to play. What the fuck? Like, I'm just so goddamn bored. Geometry Dash glooped up gameplay beast mode monstrous savagery unrivaled lol what am I saying this man is crazy okay <laughs> he's back <laughs> he's back <laughs> glooped up gameplay on god Firework seems like it'd be so painful after a while.
Well, nice. Literally beat it. This level's so fucking cringe, dude. I mean, I never set goals that were that. I mean, I did, but I didn't. Like, I never. If I'm being honest, the final goal, my original final goal when I started this channel was just to beat an extreme demon. Uh, and then after that, it was to do. I wanted to do Bloodlust at some point. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. After that. Well, actually, no. My first final goal was probably to beat Artificial Ascent, I think. Because I'd always loved that level, and then after that, my goal was to work my way up to Bloodlust. And then after that, I guess Zodiac, but like, I don't know. Zodiac was never a long term goal, though. I just kind of did it on like a. kind of like on like a whim. Love wasting attempts. could beat Acheron. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> so much fun dude like oh my god your suck has a massive hole in it let's go Also, yeah, guys, I think tonight I'm going to start taking that microwave apart. I'm not doing it on stream. <laughs> if I, uh, I, I will do the Jacob's Ladder building thing on my channel only if I can successfully do it the first time, so, yeah. Or only after I've successfully done it once. So I think I'm going to try doing that tonight. It's going to be wacky. I mean, it should be pretty straightforward to build, you know. 
Jacob's Ladder legal? Uh, yeah. I mean, I doubt it's legal to take out and like, like fucking public and just like plug it into a wall somewhere, but like... <laughs> I mean... If Styro Pyro exists, then uh, a surprising amount of things are legal to do. But no, I, I just have a bunch of ideas that I want to do. Like, I've been thinking about a lot, and like, it's fun to build shit, so. Also, I want to do the... I, I want to set up a microwave transformer so that, um... It... Or I want to modify modify it to be a step down transformer so that I can like stick a coin on the terminals and short it, and then it can literally dump like tens of amps into the coin and heat it up red hot because that's fun. Uh, yo, what up, coin? How's it going? Just look up Jacob's Ladder uh, electricity or something and it'll pop up. It's like one of the most simple projects you could probably build. Granted it's really fucking like unsafe unless you actually understand like how uh, how careful you need to be around stuff like that, but you know. Is it possible to build an electrical socket off battery, carry it around, and use it? Well, yeah, you could. You just have to use an inverter circuit to convert the DC current into AC current, and then after that, you could use a transformer to step it up to the appropriate voltage. But you would not. Uh, it, it would not be a very good idea because it would, like, it would not last very long. I, I don't. There wouldn't be much of a point. I mean, they have these things called like gas generators. Should be an electrician. I mean, I could, cause it's easy as fuck. It's not hard. But like, honestly, an electrician is sort of my backup thing. If like I decide that I'm gonna just say fuck college, because like that, it's easy as hell. I mean, I'd still have to go to a trade school to like learn how to like do things like legally and everything. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, I just have a few, like, I don't know. The only problem with being an electrician is, like, I mean, I, I guess, like, if I made enough money, though, I could, like, still do the fun stuff I want to do in my free time. I don't know, man. Because, like, it's kind of boring to me, right? Because it's not, like, challenging. Like, like, all the circuitry in a house is, like, the most basic shit ever. It's just, like, wires and, like, switches. Like, like... Yeah. And I used to do construction work all the time. That's actually, I did, well, it, it's kind of a strange situation because it wasn't like legally recognized as an actual job, but I, my dad had like a construction thing that he was trying to start and I did all the electrical work for him. And it was, uh, you know, it's pretty good. Except for, like, the number of hours he works is fucking obnoxious, but that's about it. Honestly, it's not as scary as you think it is. Like, 
As long as you actually know, like, what you're doing, you're not at risk of... Actually, the thing is, as long as you do everything by code anyway, like, legally, they can't, like, nothing can come back on you, really. You just have to make sure that everything you do, if you're, like, doing electrical work, is by code, that way, you know. So, like, if a fire does happen for whatever reason, it can't be, like, blamed on you because you did everything by the, like, code for whatever state you live in. There's, like, there's literally books you can buy for it. Yeah. Although it is worth mentioning that the one the 120 volts that comes out of your outlet is still nothing to be laughed at because it can still kill you under the right conditions. But yeah. You just have to know what you're doing. I'm a psychologist just to fuck with people. Dear God. Dude, I'm actually like itching to take this microwave apart. You know, should I bring it in? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna take it apart on stream, like I said. I'm doing this. I'm. This is gonna be like a test run to see if I can actually like make something out of it. Cause I've never like I've taken microwaves apart, but I've never actually done anything with the parts because I was too afraid to for very good reasons. Show us. Yeah, I'm, I'll grab the microwave. I'm just gonna. I'm probably gonna take it apart in my room later, so I'll just bring it in. It's a piece of shit. I got it at like a Goodwill like bin thing. It, it was wild, actually. Hold on. Microwave fun. I am tempted to take it apart on stream, but I I can't I couldn't possibly get a good camera angle. I don't think. It is beautiful. I know. I need to go retrieve the other transformer from my dad's too, because that's still at his house. So. I actually have a whole like treasure trove of elec uh, electronic scrap in my dad's. How much is the microwave? It was like 16 bucks. Which is well worth it for the parts inside for me, so I don't really care. They charge you by how much the thing weighs there. So like, I even threw out like the glass plate and everything inside of it just to make it as light as possible because I didn't need that shit. I didn't feel like having to pay extra for something I wasn't going to use, so. Sixteen bucks is such a random number. Like I said, they literally do it by weight there. It's like, it, like this place is, uh, it's wild. Like, they, uh... It's funny, like, all the people who shop at this place are just, uh, interesting. Like, like, it's literally, like, a store that just has, like, bins filled with 
old, like, people's junk in it that they're reselling. And I remember, like... They they, sw they switched out one of the bin one of the bins and and everyone in the store just like frenzied frenzied over there like like it, it was crazy it was wild I've I've never seen anything like it like moths to a flame dude like I, like two thirds of everyone in that store was just like bolting to see if they could find something in there that was worth getting. I honestly need to. I might actually check out, like, eBay and stuff, too, because eBay is amazing. Because I really want to get into this. Like, I'm seriously considering, uh, become, like, becoming an electronics YouTube channel. I swear to God. Like, it's so fun. Like, I was just looking at Styro Pyro's channel earlier, and, like, the shit that he makes is so fucking cool. Like, he's, like, an actual mad scientist, dude. Like, I would love to do that. Like, that is just so fun. <laughs> yes, the microwave money. Let's go, thanks to sixteen dollars. But yeah, like I just wanna build like there's so much cool shit I wanna build. Like I wanna learn how to build a Tesla coil. Make a Jacob's ladder. Dude, should I try to you know what? God damn it, I might give in. I might try to take the microwave apart on the stream, although I don't know if I have like I just realized like all all my tools are like at my dad's too because like I said I that's where I used to do my work and like yeah I should make a separate channel for it yeah I should I don't the, here I'll see if I can get an angle but I don't hold on like it's gonna be kind of hard yeah I don't know dude because like I gotta get this thing up on my desk and like Hmm. I have no idea. This is goofy. <laughs> the title's gonna be Luchiverse of Taking a Microwave Apart. I'll see if I can get an angle. If I can't get an angle, then I won't do it on stream. If I can get an angle, though, then sure, I guess I'll try. Maybe I'll at least open it up on stream, but I won't, like, uh, here. I just have too much stuff on my desk that is, like, fragile. Hmm. Yeah, the webcam ain't doing it. This thing is disgusting, Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work, guys. <laughs> like I just hold on like I mean I do have a big desk don't get me wrong let me just okay this could work oh it's crusty it, it's definitely crusty hold on A? A yo? Yeah. We could do this. I think. <laughs> I need to find like stuff to take this apart with. Also, uh yeah. The You know, that's fine. That's actually fine cuz we don't we don't need to see my ugly face. We just need to see this marvelous creation right here taking a microwave hold on i need uh this also depends on if i have tools though to do it i need to see because it's not the situation is not very good right now with that hold on i i will probably be back in anywhere between uh two and like 10 minutes <laughs>
uh, I'll see what I can do here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to hope that one of these will... F <laughs> I, d I did find these, and I found one of these, so this is great. We got some versatility up in here, you know. Um... Oh, oh! I'm stupid. Really? They used a star tip for this. That is cringe. I will be back. Well, we back. Let's see if uh, any of these will work. They should. I have a bunch of sizes here. Hold on, let me see like which. Yeah, it might be that one. Bro, I literally gotta use pliers to pull these things out. They didn't put holes in the back of the uh, bit holder so you can't push them out. You gotta like, okay. Also, these tools are like so freaking crusty. Oh. oh, that's not fun. I might have to go again for a third time. Yeah, I need a different. Uh... Oh.
major problems, as I suspected, with finding anything to take this apart. Hold on. I have an idea. Uh, to make that work. Oh god. Hold on. I'm not making a Jacob's Ladder right now, I'm just taking- I'm just gonna try to take it apart, but I may end up not taking it apart because- Hold on. I am currently- I don't have any tools available right now. Like, they're all- all my tools are at my dad's. You know, actually this could work. Hold on, wait. I could just put up with this being- let me see something. Is this even the right? Yeah, that is. Okay, I'll put it on. Yeah, it's gonna be a. It's gonna do that. <laughs> I can get it to work, but. It'll get the job done. Whatever. Guys, I did it. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. This is so dumb. I'm literally taking apart a microwave on a live stream using a webcam while wearing a headset. This is wild. Alright. Let me just see something here. Wow, that actually somehow works even better. I have made a horrid abomination of a tool. <laughs> this isn't even a screwdriver. I'm literally using a socket to uh, fit that in. <laughs> This is this is a uh, this is incredibly scuffed. Come on, man! Oh no, <laughs> this doesn't even have like any handle on it either. Guys, I'm I'm a I'm very competent. Okay. Oh yeah, this is not happening. Hold on, wait. It's not having it. Okay, well I can switch over to this thing, it's just gonna suck. Hold on. Hey yo, okay it worked. I'm gonna have to clean my desk off after this, this is horrendous. More entertaining than XO, for real. Yeah this is, I will say. The fact that they use set screws to hold these together is also a pain in the ass because they kind of like just force the metal in place with them. Okay. That's good. Alright. I think we're actually... Oh, thank you. I'll thank you for the five dollars. I don't know why I didn't say okay. This is wild. Alright, come on guys. We got this. Oh, oh no. N now they decided to use a Phillips head for that one. Yeah, don't worry guys. They they just use like a combination of star head screws and like Phillips head screws. Okay. This makes sense. This is wacky. Alright, I think we just have one more screw and then we're good to go. Is this... You know, whatever. This desk, I don't even care if it gets scratched. Alright. We about to look under the hood. I'm actually so happy I don't have to use that shitty socket thing for these. Alright. glue a handle onto my poorly improvised screwdriver. Alright, I think we're good. If I remember correctly, I should be able to just pop this thing off. I've done this two other times. I may have to... Hold on. I'm gonna... 
have to bring it onto the floor real quick. Oh god, but I have my headset plugged in. This is so, uh, not optimal. Okay, well, you know, I can sit on my chair, actually, that might work better. Hold on. Let me just... There we go, alright. Come on. Oh, you piece of shit. I don't think there should be anything connected to the inside of this. Hold on. No. There we go. Alright. I should be wearing gloves right now. This is not advisable. Wait, what? Why is there a... Uh... There's an envelope in here. <laughs> Guys, what if I just found a microwave that has an envelope with like $500 in it? It would be crazy. What is this? Oh, is it, it's just a schematic. What? Oh, that's crazy! Whoa! Okay, wait. I've never had a microwave come with that. Oh, that's cool. It actually has like a... Hold on. It literally has a schematic for how the... Uh, like... Well, it has it for both the... Uh, smaller like circuitry like the control panel but also the uh actual like magnetron and the transformer okay yeah that's not folding up i hate trying to fold shit back up okay so i'm taking part of microwave because yes now the first thing we're going to want to do before we touch anything is, oh, is it on the other side? I think it might be on the other side. Well, no, no. Oh, I see. They covered it. Okay, yeah. So. We got to discharge this goofy thing right here. I mean, it's pretty much guaranteed that it's already discharged because it's been sitting for like ever, but you know, you got you got to be safe about it. Let me just see if there's a good way to access. Okay. Can't wait for the microwave disassembling break in the Luchiverse video. I mean, I'm not really recording this right now because I don't see much of a point. But. Okay. So. It's really a pain in the ass how they decided to put this piece of plastic over it. I might just try to break it off. What if I died right now? Imagine. No, almost uh, almost all the time the capacitor is going to be discharged, but you, you should discharge it because uh, I, uh, if you get like the very off chance that it's somehow fully charged, it will kill you. Let me just... Here, I'm going to see if we have gloves anywhere, because I can't in good conscience uh, trust the uh, plastidip coating on these uh, needle nose pliers.
guys. Safety first on God. I would do no such thing. There's nothing nefarious happening here. Okay, these are really disgusting though. I don't wanna, hold on. I should probably put my headset on before. <laughs> when you're looking mad. <laughs> All right, so guys, here, important, important safety notes for this, okay? Number one. I'm wearing gloves. Number two, uh, you cannot see it, but I'm going to make sure that my entire body is on the wooden chair because you don't want to be grounded in case zappy zap happens, okay? Um, that makes it less likely that it will want to travel through your body. Next, I'm going to be using these to discharge the capacitor, okay? All you're going to do is, well, okay, it's not a tutorial. Do not do this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to short the terminals, so I'm basically just going to stick, put the pliers in, or not the pliers, put the scissors in, so that I'm basically going to be bridging the gap between both the terminals and the capacitor, and that will short it out, which will discharge it if there's any charge left in there, but um, there shouldn't be, but you know. So, uh, I can't really show this because it's the camera is just so bad. Yeah, do not try this period. Do not. Um, do not try this. Okay, I need to... Alright. I mean, I doubt anyone's going to have a desire to try this anyway. Because you should have absolutely no use for the parts in this thing unless you're a crazy person. So. Yeah, I, I can't really show it right. Um, because, like I said, the camera angle. But I'm actually going to probably pull before I discharge it because these things are in the way I'm gonna try to pull off the uh, hold on this is how they attach the wires to these is they just crimp them on well that's actually yeah that was a crimp okay so there's that one off all right so I've exposed one of the terminals now we just got to get the other one Again, being very careful, I am making sure that my hands are only touching the insulated part of the pliers, etc. Hold on. Damn! This one's being a little, uh... I know my stuff about microwaves, definitely. Totally not a complete fucking idiot. No, I mean, I did a... Uh, a good two years of my life was just basically doing... I was just obsessed with electrical projects. I, uh... It was actually fun. I built a... Okay, this thing is actually, like... Ridiculous. This is absurd, by the way. It's just not wanting to come off. Okay, I think I can get in there enough anyway without taking that one off. Um, But no, the most fun thing I ever built was actually with a microwave capacitor. It was very simple. I just took a... Uh, or, well, it, it was simple if you just know a few basic things, right? And... Uh, okay, so... I have, let me make sure here, so I've made contact with both the terminals, so I've bridged them together with the scissors, so there should be absolutely no charge in there. Again, not that there likely was in the first place because this thing has been sitting for forever. I mean, realistically, these capacitors discharge really fast because they're an incredibly low capacitance, like, uh... I guess we'll see. I'll show. I guess I'll tell you what it is once I take it out. But all right, now we are safe to proceed. Also, it should be noted, you do not want to um, puncture the magnetron. Okay, um, I forget what's in there, but I know it's bad, and you don't want to breathe it in because it gets in your lungs. So yeah, another safety note: do not do that. Uh, 
This right here is, uh, this comes from the capacitor, and this is going, hold on, into the magnetron. The magnetron is the thing that uh, actually cooks your food. That's like the business end. So this is actually facing into uh, the chamber, but the thing is, um, the way magnetrons work is, uh, at least I'm pretty sure half of the, uh, basically they, they don't emit radiation straight out. It actually, it, it's sort of like, is on the sides of the magnetron. The chamber. That's what it is. It's literally the fucking chamber, bro. What do I call it? It's the fucking cooking receptacle. <laughs> I don't know, man. Alright. So. It's been a while since I've actually taken one of these apart, which means I don't remember exactly where to start as far... Because like, the tricky part about taking things like this apart is you kind of have to do it in a certain order. Otherwise, stuff just isn't going to want to come out properly. I think the first thing I'm going to take off is this thermostat switch. All right, so there's that. So um, here, fun fact. So th this little thing right here is actually, what it does is it detects if things are heating up and if they are, it'll uh, either switch something on or switch something off. So that's what that thing is. Um, it's Again, it's probably like impossible to see, I know. Here, actually, I can take it off right now because it's just screwed in here. Huh, it's kind of odd. They had uh, some plates underneath of it. Let's move that. All right, so. I'll go ahead and pull this off. I know. I discharged the capacitor properly. I explained it in full detail, and I also said that they should not try this at home. Unless they're a fucking idiot like me. I'm an ex-electronics hobbyist. These crimps are always a pain in the ass to take off. Hold on. I was just trying to showcase this little thermostat switch. I forget what the proper name for it is. Oh, wow. Amazing. The actual, like, whatever. I'll have to take it off later. But there it is. This little guy. So, the, the, so this is the point that it would be switched between these two terminals. And this little face right here is heat sensitive, so if something's getting hot, it'll uh, uh, break the contact. I believe it breaks it. Should. So. All right. Uh, now. I should be able to take the magnetron out. I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna take this little metal plate off here, just because it's I don't want it to get in the way. So yeah, you guys are about to see what a, what the magnetron looks like. It's crazy. I actually took the uh, so the first magnetron that I ever took out, I actually destroyed because I wanted to take the magnets out of it 
so uh, I forget exactly how a Magnetron works. I'm not going to try to explain something if I don't actually fully know what it is. But basically, these have really strong ferrite magnets in them, and they're like ring shaped, and uh, they're pretty cool. Like they're not like ridiculously strong. I have much stronger neodymium magnets that I've bought. Um, it's another thing. I actually I like collecting magnets because strong magnets are really fun. But. <laughs> the Cornell notes. Fu I fucking hate Cornell notes, dude. I had to do learn that shit, and it's like the dumbest. It's stupid, dude. I'm actually. I forgot how fun this was. Like, I, I should. I could totally make a channel out of this. On God, I just like explaining stuff. I mean, is this information that you'll ever use? Absolutely not. I mean, unless you want to extract the parts from a microwave, but. Also, just so you know, the magnetron is, it is a pretty useless component, like, uh, from a, uh, also, hi, Kenny, sorry, I forgot to say, uh, what, shit, what was I in the middle saying? Um, oh yeah, the magnetron is pretty useless from a building thing standpoint. The only, uh, case I've actually someone seen use a magnetron is to make a microwave gun, which is actually pretty cool, but it's not exactly, like... Like, you pretty much just reassemble the components of the microwave <laughs> onto the body of, like, a gu It's not, you know. Yeah, second channel I take apart. Well, I'm not just taking things apart. I'm making shit, too. I mean, taking things apart's cool, but it's way cooler if you can make shit with it. Any idiot, can, any idiot can take something apart if... Well, I mean, not any idiot can take something apart safely, I guess, but... Any idiot can take something apart, but... Although, the taking apart pro process is very fun, I must say. Like, it's like, it's like you're mining. <laughs> it's like... It's like the electronics hobbyist equivalent to mining. Alright. We just found some fucking diamonds. So, that's what the magnetron looks like. I'm going to be very careful because I'm kind of holding this over my laptop right now. So, that's where the uh, that's where the, the danger Bernie rays come out of. And, um... Wow, I'm stupid. I'm so lucky nothing happened. I'm not showing this anymore because... My d my dumbass was literally just talking about the strong magnets inside of it, and I was holding it like literally six inches away from my laptop screen. Okay, me am smart. All right, so um, channel actually rev icon and goggles with like a fucking screwdriver thing. All right, now this right here. This is the king's jewel, okay? That is what actually makes the son of a bitch so heavy. Um, that is the transformer. Fun. Sorry, I'm just looking at my laptop again. I just want to make sure that I didn't fuck anything up. I mean, I'm pretty sure they make screens resistant to that kind of stuff now, but I just... It's probably fine. I didn't get it, like, super close. I remember one time my mom was so fucking upset because I accidentally, uh, I, like, waved a magnet in front of the TV screen and, like, the whole thing, and, and no, and my dumbass, too, was like, oh, that's so cool, so I kept doing it, and, like, oh, no, oh, no. All right. She looks like a Minecraft chest. I mean, it kind of is. All right. So. Next, I'm probably going to take out this fan. Uh, this thing is to cool the magnetron off. So, I think it's just screwed in the inside here. Uh, th these fans are kind of cool, actually, because, I mean, the, you get a motor out of it. I, I mean, they're not, like, they don't have high torque or anything, obviously, because it's just, like, a fan motor, really. I, it honestly might be more useful to just keep uh, the fan fully intact so that you can use it to, you know, cool stuff off later, because you're not going to get much use out of the motor other than that. 
Where's my safety glasses? I don't have any currently. I know I should be wearing safety glasses. Although, gloves are first and foremost when you're doing this, I will say. Not to mention, like I said, you should be elevated off the ground so you don't... So, you, so you're not an appealing expressway for the fucking electrons to find their way back to Earth. Oh god. I'm just taking out the ground screw right now. It's microwaves are grounded to their metal housing like all pretty much everything is, so Alright. <laughs> Wear mad scientist goggles. Alright, so um Oh yeah, also, <laughs> something that you wouldn't think is the cord. I absolutely love the cords from these things because it's just nice to be able to like wire stuff to an outlet properly. Um, actually, one of the things I made for fun was I took a, uh, I, got, I got to use one of these because I took a relay and I wired it to an NE555 timer circuit and I, uh, um, okay, I'm not going to try to explain how the whole thing works, but basically um, you can... Uh, how fast the timer um, actually switches on and off is dependent on the resistance between two of the two of the points in the circuit somewhere. I forget because I haven't built it in so long. But uh, I put a potentiometer in there, and you could you could adjust the the resistance between those two points, so you could adjust how quickly it was flashing. And uh, I had that powering a relay, which was switching a uh, uh, just like Christmas lights on and off and it was kind of fun although it was really annoying because you could hear the click of the relay constantly going so would like to get this cord out of the way because it's quite encumbering okay yeah, they have it switched another one of those thermostats uh Oh, which they actually just crimped into place. They didn't even screw it. Okay. There we go. Alright, I'm going to take this cord out. You just found out that humans have dominant eyes. That's interesting. Oh, wow, that one actually came off nicely. Oh yeah, these things also have fuses in them, oh. which, I mean, those aren't really necessary. I mean, unless you're trying to be safe or something, which is cringe, you know. Uh, fuses are always nice, but, you know, I don't know. Actually, let's see what this one is rated for, because I don't really know. I think from the last one I took apart, I think it's like 3 amps, which, I mean, isn't isn't particularly useful to me because I don't I don't mess with high current stuff if I'm you know dealing with high voltage even though it's much more complicated than just voltage and current but I forgot to grab a flathead I guess I'll just pry up underneath with this popper out there we go ah. Let's see this one is Usually it says 250 volts at 15 amps. Okay. Yeah, so honestly not very useful because if I was going to have something to break a circuit for safety, I would literally probably just go to the uh go to like Lowe's or Home Depot or something and just get a circuit breaker if it's for 15 amps at stuff like that, but although this is 240 volts, which, you know, that changes things a little bit. All right. Voltage, current, resistance, time exposed to it. Uh, yes, and also frequency. Because um, it's it's perfectly possible to... Alright, so fun fact. Um, the actual, like, your actual neurons in your body have a certain uh, range of frequencies that they're sensitive to. And if the switching frequency is too high, then it actually won't stimulate them at all. So it's not possible to, you know, experience like 
anything such as a cardiac arrest related to, you know, uh, a shock being delivered to your nervous system. All right. And uh, I think, well, actually, no, that's not for because never mind. But yeah, there's also other factors like uh, the skin effect is another one, which is like the tendency for really high voltages to, uh, or for current at when when it really high voltages to uh, scatter to the outer layers of like a uh, of the medium it's moving through. So like, uh, if you have a if you have like a a wire, right? Like let's say you have like a thick wire, like I don't know, you have like a fucking like like a nine gauge wire or something and uh, you're running you're passing like a really high voltage through it uh, what will happen is the uh, like the electrons will tend to actually gather in, in the very surface of the wire and the actual inner part of the wire is not going to be uh, carrying it's going to be carrying little to no current which is really interesting I, I don't remember exactly how it works I'm not qualified enough to explain a bunch on that Ah, oh, dude, I hate these things so much. There we go. All right. Let's get this thermostat out. I'm going to have to bend the housing, which I don't give a fuck about the housing for this thing. That's all. I actually should probably save stuff like this for, like, metal scrap and stuff, but... So I can like recycle it. I might have to. I might cave and go get a uh, flathead screwdriver. <laughs> using using scissors to pry up little metal tabs isn't optimal. There we go. Another thermostat thingy. All right. So we got the cord out and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all this and then. I'll be able to take this fan out and then I'll be able to get at the I'll probably take the capacitor out next and then I'll take out the transformer. Flathead screwdrivers are for wimps, actually. Couldn't agree more. Dude, I actually don't know. Like, am I gonna have to delete this stream? Cause like I'm no, I think it'll be fine. Right? Like, I mean, I'm not doing anything like like I mean I was like proper about it. Like, I mean, I don't fucking know. I mean, if Styro Pyro can build a fucking laser microwave without getting. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I hate these. <sighs> Such a pain in the ass. I'm literally getting hot from doing this. Hold on. Alright. Sorry, these gloves are terribly dirty. Well, not terribly dirty, but they're dirty. Um, yeah. Also noted, I guess I should probably be wearing long sleeves right now, but I mean, next time, next time I'll be more well equipped. I, I'm, I plan on going over to my dad's and getting all my stuff because I have a, I have a decent number of tools that I've acquired. Damn, this is like whatever. Oh, that's another fun thing uh, about microwaves, actually. Um, so there's a <laughs> there's a diode uh, always attached to the capacitor. Um, I forget exactly why that is, because it just goes to the housing, so I'm not going to comment on why that's there, because I don't know, but, um, you 
Yeah. We got a nice chonker of a diode right there. Uh, actually, um, I, I mean, like, well, never mind. I was going to say something, but it's not really. This is screwed in somewhere else. Hold on. Safety. All right. <laughs> Oh, okay. I guess the capacitor is literally attached to the fan housing. Hold on. This is no this should be no longer a danger noodle, so we'll uh See the worst part is if you can't get these wires off, like it just turns it quickly turns into like a giant octopus of just Misery because <laughs> you can't take anything out because you have to disconnect a million wire connections. And it's just there we go. Okay, don't joke about that, guys. Please, I don't want to. <laughs> that is not what's going on here. Also, if you're sourcing parts from a microwave to build that, then uh, I don't know what the... I would be ter terrified, because I don't know what you could possibly do with the parts from a microwave to assemble a... Uh... We're not going to say it on stream. <laughs> God, man. This capacitor is a lot, um, there we go, a lot smaller. Okay, yeah, so this is rated for 2,100 volts AC, and it's only, it's only 0.76 microfarads. So yeah, it has a really low capacitance, that's why these things should just discharge pretty much immediately on their own, um, because, uh, well, if the capacitance is that low, um, Basically, capacitors uh, will always discharge over time because of uh, literally the atmosphere around them will slowly it'll slowly discharge them, and if their capacitance is very low, then it will they'll be discharged in like pretty much no time. So, oh, hi, Edson. How's it going? So yeah, this is the. Uh, this is the reason taking microwaves apart is dangerous. Okay. Don't do it. Um, but now that we've extracted it, we're uh, we're gaming. So this is the fan I just took out. I guess I figured I should at least show you all the parts that are coming out of this thing. Uh, that's the motor. It's just like a standard AC motor. It's like I said, it's very low torque. It's literally meant for like a fan. It's not like you're literally better off probably just saving the fan for using it. What the hell am I doing? Taking a microwave apart. All right. Now we get to take apart the, or not take apart. We get to take out the main event. Um, so yeah. I'm going to turn this on its back because these are always screwed in through the base. Which is kind of inconvenient because... Um, this is like an incredibly heavy part. Oh, is there anything I need to disconnect? Yes. I don't sorry, I don't want to deal with this like 15 pound hunk of metal hanging from wires.
But yeah. The thing I'm taking out right now is what I'm going to use to build the Jacob's Ladder. It's a uh, step-up transformer, so... Um, the, the best way to think about transformers um, is they're kind of like the... They're like the gear ratios of electronics, is the way I like to think about it. Because they... Uh, they, they exchange one aspect of power for another, so in this case it's current and voltage um, instead of uh, torque and RPMs in the case of like a gear ratio. So basically, um, if you have a step up transformer, what it's going to do is uh, whatever voltage you put into it, uh, it's going to increase it by a factor of like the ratio of turns of the coils inside of it. And however much, like, pretty much the multiplier by which it steps the voltage up is how much the the output current is going to be divided by. So if you, let's say you have like a a 5 amp 10 volt AC current source, or yeah, it, let's say you have a, you have AC current, or you have, oh my gosh, let's say you have an AC power supply that's capable of supplying 5 amps at 10 volts and you put it on a transformer that has a the ratio of turns is 10 to 1 or wait no 1 to 10 my bad um, so basically the primary coil is going to have let's say the primary coil has 100 turns and let's say the secondary coil has 1,000 turns, it's going to step up your 10 volts and 5 amps to 100, uh, 100 volts, but it's actually going to, but at the output end of that, you're only going to have um, 500 milliamps available to use. So, All right. Oh, taking part of microwave is ten times more fun than playing Luchiverse. Hell yeah, I'm vibing, dude. I love. I just love uh, dealing with stuff like this. It's just so fun. Like just taking stuff apart and then using that stuff to build cool stuff is just awesome. Sorry, this part requires a little bit of focus because I gotta make sure I'm holding this thing because these are heavy. All right, so. That is what a transformer looks. Oh, hold on. Wires are. That's what the microwave transformer looks like. Um, so you can see what I was talking about. Um, so this would be. So this. Uh, hold on. So this right here, this bottom row, is actually. Uh, I don't know how many turns are on it, but this is thicker wire, and it's basically wrapped around. So, so like the inside of this thing kind of looks like the letter I. So there's kind of just like a rectangular hole drilled out um, up. Wait, hold on. Or yeah, there, there's a uh, so there's like a hole drilled out on this side, 
and a hole drilled out on this side. It's so you sort sort of have like two rectangles drilled out, and on the inside, on this bottom row, there's a bunch of turns of wire wrapped around. That's what this bottom that's what this bottom thing is right here. If I hold it closer, you can see that's that's literally that's wire. It's just really thick, um, and this is the input as you can tell by the uh, terminals right there. That's where it actually takes power in, and then. This is the output side, and this up here is uh, the. This is basically a chunk of wire that has many, many more turns than this. Uh, I can't really, if I get it close. Hold on. No, I don't. It's hard to show. There are a bunch of very small wires in there, wrapped around. Your <laughs> desk. Oh God! All right. Either way, this is the thing that I will be using to make the Jacob's ladder. What I'm effectively going to be doing is just shorting the output of it, um, but ha with a with a uh, an air gap in between. So I could explain how that works in like a whole other. Oh God. Either way. Uh, yeah. There you go. That's pretty much all the useful, that's most of the useful stuff taken out. There are still, there's like a light in here still. Uh, this actually comes with a bunch of uh, little switches as well uh, that are, I don't know which buttons they go to, but they're nice to pull out. Um, and then this board, uh, has like relays on it and stuff. You move to a different ROM and let's go. Well, uh, we pretty much, that's pretty much like all of it. I mean, I'll take this out. Um, I'm gonna end stream after I take this board out, I guess, but yeah. Let me just. There's a light bulb I was talking about. That's like the thing that lights the inside up. Uh, this is pretty cool. If yeah, yes, if you hook this up to 120 volts AC from an outlet, it will like light up, which is nice. Uh, oh, god damn! <laughs> I forgot how light this thing is now that I took the transformer out. There we go. So that was attached to a relay, and then this is, what is this? Or how do I get that out? I might have to break the tabs off. I'll just take this board out right now, and then that'll be that. I'm not gonna bother trying to. I think I might have to take the face of this thing off, actually. Yeah, it's supposed to happen, you know. Oh shit, I should have put background music on, huh? I'm sorry guys. I don't know why it didn't occur to me. Hold on. I don't know if I feel like doing it now that I'm about done. But...
Wow, you have seven ears and two heads. That is, those are very unfortunate symptoms for attempting to take part of microwave. Well, let me see. Is there? I don't think so. Hold on, it's... This is always a pain in the ass to remove. I'm gonna recreate the elephant's foot. No. Chernobyl V2. Sorry, I'm trying to just like figure out how the hell this comes out because I don't know. Oh, is that it? Hold on. Oh, this desk is filthy right now. I guess I might have to actually fully take the housing apart. I didn't think I would, but... Those were pretty crusty. All right. Should just slide off. Oh yeah, I forgot. So on the bottom, there's also, this is like what turns the plate. This is a synchronous motor. So that's cool, I guess. These do have a... Uh, like, this is a motor that you could use for, like, you know, other stuff, which is nice. Oh, is it only held in by... I guess so. All right. Well, we almost are almost there. Now I need to actually just remove this. Let me turn it uh, on its face. That'll probably help. So this plastic piece of shit is holding in a bunch of stuff and I don't know how to properly remove it. Ah!
There we go. Oh, does that have a tab on it? It does. Hold on. We're almost there. I'm gonna go and take this light bulb out of its socket so I don't, uh... Oh, wait, no, does that not... Oh, never mind. I think this, uh, can just go back. Okay. Oh, there's a ribbon cable on this thing. Oh, come on. So close. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right. She's fully torn down. It's Jover. This is useless to me now. <laughs> so. I guess I will just lay out everything I got from it real quick so you guys can see. Um, microwaves are not very space efficient in terms of parts because most of the most of the thing is just the stu like the cooking part of the th of the microwave. But all right, so that's the uh, that's just like a bunch of stuff that I didn't get apart. But so this is the board, like that's like what you're actually dealing with when you're like setting the time on the microwave and stuff like that. It even has a little digital display right here, uh, so that's useful. Uh, also, it has a relay on it right here. Um, and then there's another transformer here, although I don't know if you could use mu use that for much. Uh, oh, and then this this has like a bunch of switches in it, this little plastic thing. Actually, I don't like this piece of plastic is kind of annoying, so hold on. I can uh, I don't need it anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and... break off the little tabs on it cuz I don't care about saving it so hold on I probably just do it with my fingers Hold on.
There we go. All right. So that's about as raw as you can get it right there. Took the little plastic thingy off, so that's the motor. I'll go ahead and take that off right now, actually. Has nice little terminals right ah right there. So you can just hook that up to whatever you want. Um these are all the here, I'll take the switches out too. Or I'll separate the switches physically for you. Actually, you can uh, open up the casings on the inside of these so you can like look at how they... I mean, it's just like a mechanical switch, so it's nothing special, but like it's kind of cool, I guess. You can take the sides of them off. Okay, that's one. Sorry, I know there's like a bunch of awkward silence right now. I'm just... <laughs> Damn! It's hard to get these off. But... Yeah, that's what one of the little switches looks like. It's just like a, this little button right there. Makes a nice click sound. It's actually kind of a fun fidget device, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but here's what I was talking about. You can take the uh, the actual side of the switch off. And uh, yeah, that's neat. So not that you'd like really have a use for doing that, but... I'm going to see if I can't disconnect these other two. There we go. That's another one. And then the third one. Oh, damn. <laughs> this thing's got a lot of, uh... They do not like to come off. At all. There we go. Alright, I got all the switches separated. can go ahead and unplug this light as well. They do not make these easy. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> uh, damn. All right, there we go. All right. Cool. It's the light bulb taken out. All right, and then everything else on here is just kind of spaghetti. So, yeah. Uh, okay, we have the transformer right here. We have the fan, and then the capacitor, and then the magnetron and then of course we have two of these thermostat switches and then a fuse and that's pretty much everything that you're gonna get out of a microwave so yeah there you go um, everything else is kind of junk <laughs> oh wait and then of, of course we can't forget the power cord okay there you go 
that is the uh, that is the hall. I, there is nothing else for me to do with this, and I am definitely uh, d done streaming for tonight. How long did that take? It was like an hour or something. I don't know. Thanks for the tutorial. Yeah, no problem. My desk is filthy now. Uh, but yeah, don't don't do any of that at home. Um, I'm gonna. Well, here I guess I'm gonna move all these parts off of here. It was epic. On God, that was epic. But yeah. Um, in theory, it shouldn't be that hard to actually make the Jacob's Ladder with like everything I have here. I mean, I'm only literally going to need the Transformer anyway. Although the Capacitor might help uh, with making the Jacob's Ladder, possibly, because it could serve as a bit of a... like a buffer for it. I'm gonna. I'll probably actually wipe my desk off on stream because I'd like to get my stuff back in order real quick, and then I'll end. Hold on. That thing was crusty and dusty, though. Jesus. Um, also, I'm not gonna be doing anything like that on stream again for like a while. I just, you know, I had the microwave, so why not? What a useful stream. This donut for Terrence, not you. Make sure to PayPal him this. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Terrence appreciates $20. On oh, God. All right. Um, so. I think we're all good to go. God, I got so many. <laughs> Actually, here, let me, like, just put in my hand all the screws that came out of this thing. It's absurd. Well, it's not that many, I guess, but, I mean, it, it kind of is. I don't know. Microwave screws. Fun. Okay. I'm not going to lie. That was actually way smoother than I thought it would be. I thought I'd make myself look like a fucking idiot. I mean, I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I don't know. I mean, I'm really rusty with my knowledge on this kind of stuff because I haven't done it in like two years, but damn near three years, actually. Uh, all right, I'm going to put all these tools back and then I'm going to wipe my desk off and then I'm going to end, so uh, yes. Jesus, this is a mess. My God, this free ball is terrible.
Jesus. Wait, are you guys still able to hear stuff? Oh my god, you can. That is hilarious. I'm sorry. I unplugged my headset so I could clean this off. It must sound terrible. This spray bottle is horrendous. Because it just doesn't work. Oh dang, I didn't bring the whole roll of paper towels in it. Hold on. Alright, I have dealt with the aftermath, save for the parts now laying all over my floor, but yeah. Alright. Well, that was fun. God, there's just dirt everywhere after that. Alright. Oh yeah, hold on, I need my... Uh, there we go. All right. Yeah, it's about the right size. All right, cool. Hold on, I need to wipe off like, oh, that's annoying, I don't have paper towels, okay, whatever, I'll just do it after I end. Uh, so, yeah, I, I am going to people who are still watching, sorry about that. Um, epic, we took a microwave apart, that was just wild. I guess I am gonna end, it's funny, it's a Bluetooth verse in the background the whole time. Anxiety just missed me taking an entire microwave apart. No, I didn't get a fucking haircut. Alright, there. Cool. Alrighty. Well, that was a uh, very constructive waste of time. So. That was like a three hour stream. God damn. How long has it taken the micro apart, bro? Literally half of the stream was taking the micro apart. Okay. Well, uh. I'm gonna go, so yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I'll just be playing Luigiverse the entire time. So yeah. Yeah, it was like an hour and 20 minutes. Wild. So, uh, I mean, most of that time is just spent me just like wandering around in the garage trying to find shit to, t to use to take it apart. But, alright, yeah. I'll see you guys. Um, good night. Bye.